Hi, I'm Dr. Will Holdsworth, your San Jose chiropractor from Pain Relief Chiropractic. Today I'm going to be giving you a tip to help you with sleeping. Uh, a lot of us do experience some sort of uh, inability to fall asleep easily at night. Uh, that's basically just because there's a couple things that, that could be going on that we're not paying attention to and it's causing us to kind of toss and turn while we're trying to fall asleep at night. Uh, there's a couple tips that I'm going to give you, and this is the first one. Um, is, is basically, it's, it's, it's a supplement. You can get it at any grocery store, drug store, you can get it online. Uh, it's called melatonin. And melatonin is something that's in your brain naturally. It naturally occurs in your brain. And it gets released when you uh, get tired, when you get later into the day. It kind of gets on that whole circadian rhythm that we get on. Um, and it starts to get released, uh, especially when we are exposed to less light. Uh, as the sun goes down, for example, there's less light, it's darker out. Not, and the visual trigger of that will actually cause melatonin to be released in your brain to help you fall asleep and to stay asleep. Sometimes uh, we are doing something and we have lights on in the house, we have our phones going. Uh, it, it doesn't trigger that release early enough and now we go to lay down in bed and the melatonin hasn't been you know, setting in. So we're not really tired and we're tossing and turning, we're wondering why it's already midnight or two in the morning or you know, hopefully not later than that, but pretty late and, and we're not able to fall asleep. So if you take a melatonin, um, which is really just a little pill, um, a little bit before you go to bed, use it as directed on the bottle. Uh, I usually take it about an hour before I go to sleep. Uh, it will really help you fall asleep. It's basically just going to increase the levels of melatonin in your brain. Uh, I wouldn't do it every day. I don't do it every day. I do it maybe if I if I feel like I'm I'm very excited about something tomorrow. I'm like oh, just hope I'm prepared for it. I'll just take a melatonin just to relax it. Um, I remember my professor in chiropractic school actually said she's like I feel like it it gets the voices that you have in your head the the not the voices that you have in your head but your thoughts when you have them racing. You know you keep talking to yourself. You have that little voice in your head that's telling you all your things that you have going on. Um, it mutes that. It gets that to calm down. And when you fall asleep, you stay asleep for longer. So go ahead and try some melatonin out. Don't take it, you know, you don't have to take it in the morning and have it like, you know, work throughout the day. You take it before you go to sleep um, and just take it uh, as directed. I would say at the most, take it like two times, maybe three times a week. Because again, this is a supplement that's going to um, cause like a storage of, of, this, of this chemical for your brain. It will, it will stay in there just because you take it. In the, at night, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll be there in the morning, it'll be there the next day. Um, uh, some people wake up a little drowsy when they take it, but if you go out into the sun, it's going to stop releasing melatonin in your brain, right? It's that whole thing I just talked about where if you get darker for the light as far as uh, that goes, you know, that, that's where the, the, the melatonin will stop coming out and, and going into your brain area to kind of trigger the sleep because you now have the sun going, you have the lights on, drink a cup of coffee or drink just some water just to get drinking water itself. Your body knows you're no longer asleep because you don't drink water when you're sleeping, right? So that's another good trick for it too. So hopefully that helps. I'm Dr. Willow Holdsworth, your San Jose chiropractor from Pain Relief Chiropractic. And thank you for watching.